Welcome to Beat Diabetes, and we're going to talk some more about the Dexcom Stello CGM. And since I've talked to you about it last week, I've had a number of people leave comments saying, too pricey, Dennis, and I get that. It's really too pricey for me to use constantly. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could. But it is a great device to do some serious testing over the course of a month or so. And I got this from the Dexcom company, the Stello, and it was exactly one day after I ordered it. Last week, I, it was on a Thursday, I was recording and talking to you about it. And I said, well, I ordered it yesterday. It should come in the next three days. It, it came that very day, the, the day after I ordered it. So amazing. In fact, uh, Benedicta said something about, uh, so you, you ordered it from Amazon. I said, no, I, I ordered it from Dexcom. She said, well, an Amazon truck brought it here. So apparently uh, Dexcom has an, an agreement with Amazon and you can get one day shipping if you've got Amazon Prime, which I do. So um, I guess that's why I got it so fast. And I've heard from at least one other person saying the same thing. He got it in a single day. So that's pretty cool. When you open the box, you get two of these smaller boxes. So big box, two small boxes. This would include the applicator and the sensor. Each one is supposed to last you for 15 days. Now, I will admit, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> you say, why are you nervous, Dennis? You've done YouTube videos before. Well, I'm nervous for financial reasons. Uh, these two sensors and applicators cost 100 bucks. In fact, a little over 100 time you add the tax. And so if I'm if I mess up and it, somehow I, I blow it and it doesn't work and it doesn't stick, then I've just lost $50. Amazing. So I don't want to mess up. And uh, I don't mind telling you, I prayed, asked the Lord to help me before I got started with this because uh, who wants to throw away $50? Anyway, let's open this up. And there is, we're going to find the applicator. So inside there is an applicator. There's kind of an overview of how this device works, this continuous glucose monitor. There is a step-by-step -step guide, but I don't really plan to use that. Number one, there's an app on your phone that you can use. It will take you step-by-step, -step, and I would normally use that, but I've watched like three vid videos about all this. So uh, I don't even need that uh, as far as I know. I, I did take some notes. So that's going to kind of help me get through this. Here's the applicator, but this won't do me much good unless I unscrew the top, which I'm going to do right now. And there we go. And it tells you, uh, one of the videos from Dexcom says, don't put your finger inside. So you don't put your finger inside here at all. Uh, you've got this plastic clear guard, which when you press it up against your arm to apply the sensor, it's supposed to go down. And uh, so that's what you want to do before you press this button. This is the magic button. And this button will shoot that sensor onto your arm and attach it. And it should work just fine if you, A, first wash the part of your arm that you plan to stick it, which they recommend right here under the underneath of your upper arm. And then, uh, then they suggest that you wipe it with alcohol, which I've done. I've done the washing. I've done the alcohol wipe. And once that is done, then you are ready with one finger close to the button, but don't press that button just yet. You get this on the lower side of the upper arm, the bottom side, and I guess they have their reasons. And I'm going to push this in until this clear plastic part goes down and then once it's down i'm going to push this button and it's going to magically attach this to my body for the next two weeks plus one day so let's see if it works push it supposed to push it firm and somehow i can't really tell if that i can't really tell if that clear plastic is uh <laughs> they call it the clear plastic guard has gone down but i, I would assume it has as hard as i'm pushing it so that's kind of the scary part. I can't see if this is really working. But if I push it as hard as I can, I guess there's not much more that I can do, right? So let me go ahead and hit the, the white button and see what we get. Boom. 
And there we go. You can see that it is on. The very first thing they want you to do is wrap, uh, uh, rub around the edges and make sure that the thing is sealed. So I'm going to rub around the edges. I'm supposed to do it three times. So, so far it looks like it worked. I've done this one other time. It wasn't with the Dexcom. It was with the Freestyle Libre. Uh, and it worked fine, and it lasted the whole time. I know some people complain that they attach it, and then within five, six, seven, eight days, it falls off before its time is supposed to be expired, which is, again, a terrible waste of money. But we'll just hope that this works. And I've rubbed around. The second the thing you do after you've applied it is you push on the sensor, and you hold it in for 10 seconds. So pushing it, holding it in, one, two, ten. All right, I pushed on the sensor, and the remaining thing is this, this thing they call an overpatch. And this is going to go around the sensor, but I think in order for me to do this properly, I'm going to have to look in a mirror. So if you will excuse me, I'm going to... Now, there, there is an official Dexcom video that shows you how to do this. I'll put a link in the description. So you don't, you know, this is kind of an amateurish Dennis Pollock version of how to do it. But basically, you're going to peel off two of these, uh, both clear sides. <clears throat> you're going to put it around here. This is, this is the overpatch. And then you're going to peel off the green part. And then you're going to rub it around some more. And then it should be good for 15 days. So let me go ahead and go to the mirror in the bathroom and try to do that. Maybe have Benedict to help me. I don't know. Maybe I can do it without her. What do you think, sweetie? Think, think I can do it without you or think I'm going to need you? <laughs> she has just volunteered to help. Well, she, that's my sweetie. She's a very helpful person. Okay, so let's put this away. Be back. Well, for me, it'll take a couple minutes. For you, it'll take about a second. Okay, so Benedict helped me to get that overpatch on. So we've got the sensor on and then the, the overpatch over that. And the only thing that's left is to pair this with my phone. My, this is different as I understand it. Now, I'll get back to you later on and let you know. But as, as I understand it, this is different. When I use the Freestyle Libre, I would scan myself uh, with a scanner or with my phone. And if I wanted to know what's my blood pressure, I mean, excuse me, my blood sugar, and do a scan. This just sends information constantly. Every 15 minutes, it updates. So you basically, you're getting the 15 minutes ago information once it updates. So I have paired it. There's two ways you can pair it. You can pair it with the little barcode thing here, but it's also got the number written out, which is a very simple way to pair. I use the number. And it tells me now the thing is warming up, so I can't get a legitimate reading for 16 more minutes. In 16 minutes, I will get one. Well, it turned out it has been almost two days since I last saw you, although for you, as promised, it was but a second. And uh, I, de I decided I would just play around with this device and, and use it and see how I liked it. Check out the features. I'm not sure I know them all yet, but I know basically how it works. And uh, as I suspected, there's no scanning. And, and it, at one time, I thought that was a negative. I liked the idea of my previous CGM, and I've only had one up till now. It was a, a Libre 2, but you could scan it whenever you wanted. This one, you cannot scan it when you want to. It's not a, there's no scanning involved. It scans itself and it sends a record of your glucose uh, to your phone, to the phone app. you got to have an app. Without an app, that thing is worthless. So you, you can walk around with a patch on your arm and impress your friends, but if you don't have the app on your phone or a tablet, then uh, it's not going to do you any good. So first thing, get the app, and uh, then, boy, you can go to town. So anyway, um, at first I thought, well, I don't like that you don't scan. I think I would rather just scan it when I want to, but now I'm sold. I like the idea that every 15 minutes it does its own scan, sends it to your phone app, and you can see what's going on, not just then, but you can track how you've been doing, going up, going down, maintaining pretty much regular, steady blood sugar, 
And uh, you can, there's just so much you can do. So I like that. Another thing I didn't think I cared for so much was when I was looking at some of the videos and, and uh, website, the website about this, it showed the, the glucose record of your day or your previous hours with a bunch of little dots. And I thought, well, I don't, I don't want to see dots. I want numbers. Why can't they send me a bunch of numbers? And so I, I was prepared to dislike that feature. But then I realized after I got hold of the app and started using it that you can run your finger across that record of those dots and it will give you numbers above that. So you can see what the numbers are. And so I was like, okay, well, I think that will work for me. And there, there's just uh, several things about it that uh, I really like. Another issue was, well, how accurate will it be? I knew my Mike the meter, Mike the glucose meter, which was my uh, freestyle Neo, uh, was fairly accurate within itself. In other words, it wouldn't give you a 92 one minute, and then you test it five minutes later, and you're up to a 123. It, it would be consistent. Uh, whether it was a little off or not, I couldn't say. But it, and, and based on the A1Cs I got, it looked to me like uh, Mike was doing a pretty good job. So I wondered, how is this going to compare with Mike? And my previous CGM, I wasn't totally satisfied with its accuracy. And this one, I'm, I'm impressed. There was one little glitch where it seemed to uh, read uh, significantly different from the regular glucose meter. But uh, other than that, uh, and that was early on, and I guess it was just getting warmed up. But boy, I'll tell you what, after that, it's neck and neck with Mike. And I've seen numbers so close to each other. Keep in mind when you're getting uh, the reading from your sensor, it's about uh, 15 minutes behind what you would get if you just stabbed your finger. So, but uh, close enough to where uh, I am well happy, well satisfied uh, with this device. Like the features, I was fascinated uh, by just what it revealed. And one of the things I found out was your glucose is kind of jumping around a little bit all, almost all the time. Even when you think you're steady, it'll go up a few points, go down a few points, and sometimes significantly. And one example was uh, that, that really interested me was my nighttime readings. Now, I've never had the desire to wake up a bunch of times at night and test my blood sugar. But this thing does it for you, and you've got a whole record of your night. One of the things that fascinated me was the fact that when I would uh, look at some of the, the records at night, there was uh, quite a bit of jumping around. It, it tended to get lower at night, and uh, at one point, it got lower than 70, and this little CGM, the Dexcom Stello, uh, I've decided to call him Charlie because Charlie, the alliteration works with a CGM or a continuous glucose monitor. So little Charlie, or if you prefer Charlotte, if you like your, uh, <laughs> your monitor to be feminine. Uh, but little Charlie tells me, uh, according to the records, that there was one time last evening where I dropped below 70 and now it can only read up to 70 it stops now why they decided to do that i don't know it shouldn't have been that hard to allow it to read into the 60s or 50s but it doesn't even try so if you drop below 70 according to the meter then it will just say below 70 and i dipped below 70 at one point last night uh, and that was surprising and yet i would also jump up to close to 100 at times so i was kind of bouncing around as i slept and that surprised me i just assumed that as you sleep you're going to be pretty steady and then kind of get a rise when you get that dawn phenomenon in the morning and there was a pretty significant uh, up and down although typically i was lower at night than i was during the daytime particularly the part where i eat my meals we'll talk some more about that later but for now, let me just say, if I were to rate this uh, according to the Amazon ratings, which I know it's not an Amazon product, but uh, they give you five stars for the best, I'd give it five stars. I'd say this is good. Only negative is the price. My thought and my word to you is this, even if you can only afford to get it one time, you'll get two of these 
for $100 or so, a little bit more with tax, and that'll give you about a month of testing. And I say testing, it does the testing for you. You don't have to stick your finger. You don't have to scan yourself. All you do is just look at your app and it's just constantly going. You hardly know you're wearing it. In fact, about the only time I think about the fact that I'm wearing it is when I take a shower, then yeah, you better believe I'm aware of it because I don't want to get it too wet. It's supposed to be waterproof. So, uh, and my previous Libre uh, lasted through a number of showers and it still worked. And this is, uh, it looks like it's going to do the same. So, you know, I'm glad about that. Even if you say, well, Dennis, it would be impossible to me, for me to afford $100 a month, month after month. Right. I get that for sure. Mo for most of us, it would be. And I wouldn't want to pay it either. But to take a single month, I look at it. This way, you're not really just paying for a, a continuous glucose monitor. You're paying for an education into your own blood sugar and how your body responds to meals. And you start doing your meals. I, I did a meal uh, uh, yesterday of, and, and today, actually, with Benedicta's soup and fufu, which I've talked about before. And uh, that's one of our go-to meals. And uh, Charlie told me... It's fine. Barely bumped over 100, maybe 103 or so. And so uh, by the time I put my day together, uh, I was in good shape and I was running at about a 4.9 A1C. So it's easy. And, and my advice is if you say I can't afford it for month upon month, try it for one month and just see uh, everything. Learn everything you can learn. See what you can see. Experience the, the incredible amount of data that's available to you. If you've recently been diagnosed with diabetes and you've just discovered this channel, let me recommend that you go to our uploads page, which will give you access to every diabetic video we've posted since we began. As you work your way through all our videos, I believe you'll find the help you need. A link to our uploads page is in the description.